So at Sathid International Bilingual School, we pride ourselves in offering a genuine bilingual atmosphere, learning atmosphere for our students. Mm. Now, our school has a diverse student population, so many different cultures from all around the world. Um, students whose mother tongue could be Russian or Chinese or Thai or Afrikaans. How do we support our students, not just in an international bilingual curriculum, but a Cambridge curriculum where the expectation is to access a first language curriculum? Well, I think it's great that you bring that up because differentiation is actually built into each and every lesson for all the subjects that we have, whether it's mathematics or science or even global perspectives, uh, which illustrates the inclusion that we have in the diversity of our lessons as well. Uh, so how about you tell us a little bit about the core and the extended programs? Well, uh, especially in IGCSE, uh, we prepare them from year 7 to 9, but year 10 and 11 IGCSE, it's actually written into the curriculum that there is a core phase and an extended uh, phase for uh, mathematics, English and science. Now how do we prepare them from year 7 to 9 is to also place them in core and extended programs according to their learning abilities mm -hmm. and uh, that, that prepares them basically for IGCSE. Fantastic. I love that you bring up learning abilities because there are certain students that exceed the Cambridge standard, but we also have those students that are still emerging, still working towards on hitting those expectations. And for that, we've got English language support for those students because usually it's not that they're not strong in math or not strong in science. It's that the ability of the English level is not quite there yet. So one of the ways we provide additional support for our learners is with English language support. So the English language support will assist the students in meeting that Cambridge standard. Eileen, can you tell us a little bit about the English language support or ELS as we call it in primary? Yeah, that's um, very important because obviously it lays the foundation in preparing students as they go into secondary as well. Now primary is a little bit different to secondary. We don't have our subject teachers. You have your language teachers, your specialist teachers, and your homeroom teachers. Homeroom teachers are responsible for the majority of the students learning at SIBS. So it also helps them to identify strengths and weaknesses in the different subject areas and using those subject areas to continue developing and building the student's ability and skill level. So that can be done through English, it can be done through math, it can be done through science. And then we also provide for students who have a, a lower English ability but who wants to be in a Cambridge International School after school English language support. This is broken down into an age group and a smaller group where we can focus on giving the students the tools of what they need inside the classroom. It's taught by our teachers who have experience with the Cambridge International curriculum so that they can identify this is what you will be challenged with in the classroom how can I support you and help you and develop your skill to set you up for better success and progress now therefore we also offer in our Cambridge checkpoint exams at the end of primary we offer English as a second language and English as a first language because it sets that stepping stone of when they come into secondary where it's more subject-based teaching so the ELS process in secondary is a little bit different than it is in primary. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the assessment process and what exactly does ELS look like in secondary? Well, our students are, before they enter the school, they're basically uh, tested uh, based on a Cambridge mark scheme. Okay. Uh, on uh, Cambridge, they have different levels in which they assess and then we place them uh, whether they need it, if they need that opportunity or that uh, support to go and uh, access our curriculum, uh, if they have that ability or not, we place them in ESL classes. Uh, then they have the opportunity to do at the end of each term, and that's the idea, to get them out of the ELS program. Exactly, uh, I see. So, so it's not to get them out. into ELS, it's to get them out of ELS. Out. Okay, so they need to achieve a certain grade level standard from Cambridge. So is that set by SIBS or...? No, that's set by Cambridge. Oh, so it's against a Cambridge mark scheme that we're marking them. That's yeah. fantastic.